right, we've been experimenting with graphing quadratics. And you can see here one of our examples here. We see that they're a smooth line like a parabola. We also know from our angry birds that due to gravity, the movement is the same up as down. So we start really fast, and then as gravity takes a toll, we slow down until we get to the vertex, and then we come back down the other way. Same gravity up as it is down, and so you're going to find that the points are the same going up and down, and it creates something which we call symmetry. Just like our face, we can draw a line down the center that can fold our face in half. Our eyes are at the same level, our ears are at the same level, and going right down through our chin, which would be the vertex of my face. So you can see here, once we actually graph it, we have a, vert a line of symmetry, a line that we can put right down here, right through the center of the graph that's going to cut it in half, and going through that would be our vertex, the turning point, like our chin. Now this is fabulous if we have a graph. And remember, the equation of a vertical line is going to be x equals a number. Now if we're asked to find the center of this graph without the picture and only the equation, we have to use the line of symmetry equation. So the equation for the line of symmetry is x equals, because remember, it is a vertical line, x equals a number. How do we find that number? Negative b divided by 2 times a. All right, b and a, b and a, what are we talking about here? Well, remember the equation of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. These are our numbers. So once the equation's in standard form, all we need to do is take this a value, the number in front of the x squared, and put it here. This b value, the number in front of the x, put it here, and solve this for the number, which will give us our center. So let's take this graph. We already know the equation. We can already see it, but let's see if it works out. So here's my equation, y equals negative x squared plus 2x. All right, so in front of my x squared, that's my number, which is my a. And let's see, there's really nothing there but a negative sign. Oh, but that would be a negative 1, okay? So we're going to write x equals negative b over 2 times a. And we just said our a was negative 1. All right, then our b is the number in front of the x term, and so that would give us our 2 right here. So that's what we're going to put right here. And you might say, well, Mrs. Woolley, though, but you have a plus c here. There's, there's no other number here. We don't need that for this equation, but if there's no other number, then, then that would be a plus 0, right? So our c term would be 0. All right, so we have it set up. So this is really a negative times negative 1, right? So we're going to get negative 2. Right, negative 1 times 2 gives us our negative 2, and 2 times negative 1 is our negative 2 again. Negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we have x is equal to positive 1. That is the center of our graph. Well, let's double check that. Yep, x crosses at negative 1, the center of our graph. So to find the middle of your graph, all you need is this equation, x equals negative b divided by 2a. And remember, you know you love math.